and even self a Wisconsin attorney general. I don't call the name of the officer who shoot the black man on Sunday uh, when it's packed days of demonstrations with no agree. And Josh Kaul Sama reporters say Rusten and Shesky been shoot Jacob Blake seven times for him back as he opened the door of him moto. And officers have been seen knife inside Mr. Blake's car and he's still young, say, but no other weapons a day. The shooting does pack wave of a no agree protest for recent days and some of uh, weighed on already torn heavy biggie. Then on the evening of Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, uh, Kenosha Police Department officers were dispatched to a resident, residence in the 2800 block of 40th Street after a female caller reported that her boyfriend was present and was not supposed to be on the premises. During the incident, officers attempted to arrest Jacob S. Blake, age 29. Uh, law enforcement deployed a taser to attempt to stop Mr. Blake, uh, but the taser was not successful in stopping him. Mr. Blake walked around his vehicle, opened the driver's side door, and leaned forward. While holding on to Mr. Blake's shirt, Officer Rustin Shesky fired his service weapon seven times. Officer Shesky fired the weapon into Mr. Blake's back. No other officer fired their weapon. The Kenosha Police Department uh, does not have body cameras, and therefore the officers uh, were not wearing body cameras. Uh, the shooting officer, Kenosha Police Officer Rustin Shesky, has been a law enforcement officer with the Kenosha Police Department uh, for seven years. During the investigation following the initial incident, uh, Mr. Blake admitted that he had a knife in his possession. Uh, and DCI agents, that's the Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, recovered a knife from the driver's side floorboard of Mr. Blake's vehicle. Uh, a search of the vehicle located no additional weapons. Uh, law enforcement immediately provided medical aid to Mr. Blake, uh, and Flight for Life transported him to Freighter Hospital in Milwaukee. Uh, all involved law enforcement officers are fully cooperating with DCI during the investigation, uh, and the involved officers have been placed on administrative leave.